Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to share Gen Z experience, some more Gen Z experiences from different branches. So many students have shared their experience, literally so many students. And I'm here to share it, with, share it with you. So it may be helpful for some of the students who have not yet appeared for the interview. And I, also I'm going to answer few questions that has been asked by the student frequently asked question and some of the questions I'll be covering at the end of the video I means some Q&A kind of session I'll be taking it at the end of this video electronic and uh, telecommunication and started with the introduction asked about project some core questions like uh, accumulator simpling entropy oscillator etc then he gave me four to five aptitude question on different different topics and which were quite easy then he asked me why you want to join cognizant after that he started asking about c++ language which i have mentioned in cv the technical questions were uh, like what is linked list array stack pointer data data type in c++ he gave me some case studies and on array uh, like you have to sort the data of employee with different data type like int, float, float, uh, string, then how many array will you use and many more. Okay, some scenario based questions or some case study kind of question he got. Any questions then the interview was around 30 minutes and waiting for the positive response. And thank you ma'am for your video. Helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Now let's move to the uh, name is okay Mansi. Thank you so much Mansi. Hi ma'am. Today I completed my Gen C technical and finally, uh, firstly the interviewer introduced themselves. Then he asked me about tell me about yourself. Then he asked uh, then acha you are belonging to ECE. Uh, then why IT kind of question. You want to learn more? He asked. Then which language you are comfortable with? I said C and Python. Then Tell about dynamic variable OOPS concept. What is characteristic of OOPS uh, and explain about it. Then coming to my coding part, he asked me about program for uh, pyramid. Two aptitude question, average speed and distance. Why CDS? Then uh, that's all he asked me. Let's move on to the next experience. Hi ma'am, I had my Gen Z interview six days before. Uh, this person is from ECE and my interview listed for it, it lasted for 40 minutes first interviewer asked me asked to tell about yourself something about yourself what do you know about cognizant then she asked about my hobbies then number of questions on python as like as uh, mentioned it on my resume as she or he has mentioned python so there were number of questions from python Questions were like global variable, local variable, list, tuple, entropy, then a number of questions on core ECE, which is what is diode, photodiode, theorems of network theory, modulation technique. She even asked some questions on engineering graphics. Quant questions were asked from percentage, ratio and ages. Finally, she asked me to write two SQL queries also. That's that's all. And after that, I attended another interview for document verification. Now, ma'am, after document ver verification, what are the chances of getting selected? Uh, okay. So, see guys, um, the chances. Okay, I, I will not cover now at the end because this is the very frequent questions I'm getting. After HR, there is very high chances that you will get a positive response. Okay. But it is not necessary that there will be 100% result. There can be 100%, but there, there is a probability that the percentage of student who appeared for HR interview, it could be, it could go to like 99% or 98% or sometimes it, it goes to till 100% selection. Are you getting a point? So it really depends on the requirement. So if you have attended till HR interview, then okay, then be positive. And let's wait for the result. Let, now let's move to the next. Today I had my interview for Gen C profile and cognizant. 
I am from electrical branch. During my, uh, my interview duration was 40 minutes. Introduce yourself. Explain about your project, your role in it. Explain your about your internship, OOPS concept, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. Explain array. Can you declare array in structure, linear and non-linear data structure? Then questions from core branch. Differentiate between alternator and generator. Fleming's right hand rule, reverse polarity, microprocessor and its type. What does induction motor start it? How does it induction motor start it? Latching and holding current, um, rectifier and its type and four aptitude question. Thank you for your video ma'am. That helped me a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, so many questions from the core as well as from the CS. Now he is from uh, he or she is from electrical engineering. My interview was held on 23 September 9 a.m. When I entered, she started asking me like, okay, let's go to the first question. Introduce myself, explain your project. You are from trip, uh, EE and your project is based on Python. Why? Core question. What is transformer? It's working, loses, explain in detail. Again, a uh, core question. Reverse the string in Python code. Check the palindrome or not. She gave me two basic aptitude question. Two dice are thrown. Probability of getting the same number in each die. Uh, dice. A farmer working in 10 days and his wife working in 5 days. How many days will it take if they work together? Ah, it's pretty much straightforward questions from quantitative aptitude she asked joins left join right join and one basic queries d uh, dml ddl dcl commands why do you have a gap of one year you know any latest technology i told her xyz whatever she knows what type of work do you want in cognizant okay and you have any question i asked her about her experience in cognizant so that's all i mentioned python and mysql in my resume i was not able to answer the dcl command only that's fine even if your interview was above 80 percent or 70 percent above 80 percent okay and 75 percent then it's fine you can expect a positive response Hi ma'am, I'm Kevin from EE Bear Branch. My interview held on 23 September. Started with an introduction, project explanation, array, pointer, Fibonacci series, code, structure, and its syntax. Okay, I am tired. Okay. Recursion and its simple code, aptitude, SI, ages, ratio, properties of oops, what is inheritance with example, how to declare it, what is encapsulation, what is inheritance, what is interface, can Java support multiple inheritance, difference between abstract and inter, uh, interface, what is static keyword, what is public and protected. Uh, all the best and let's move to the next question. Uh, thank you ma'am, your channel helped me a lot for Gen C interview preparation, thank you so much. Asked me about my technical skill. I said C Java having knowledge in data structure. What is data structure? Different type of data structure, different type of linked list and tree. Asked about project. Two questions from project about embedded system. 8086 microprocessor. Why I want to shift from code to IT? Two puzzle questions on work and time. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's move to the next ma'am. I am Pujit. I started with self-introduction. Multitasking. Why ECE to IT? Very much expected question. Oops concept. What is class and object? What is polymorphism? What is return? Uh, runtime polymorphism. What is compile time polymorphism? Method overloading. Method overriding with example. Inheritance with example. What is variable? Difference between stack and queue. What is stack pointer? What is pointer? Differentiate between save and save as. What is taskbar? What is RAM? What is accumulator? What is diode? Ah, this many question. Oh, it's not ending over there. Oh, any, many more. What is pass band and base band? What is embedded system? What is microprocessor, microcontroller? Write a code of leap year in C. 
code for swapping two number without using the third variable, three aptitude question on speed, distance and time, two medium level question, one high level. Tell me about uh, your native place, what is encapsulation, what is token? Oh my god, these many questions. If you get placed in CTS, what are the technology you will be interested in? What is AI, difference between AI and ML, real time example of ML and AI? What is www dot? I hope this is ending over there. Okay, so these many questions from a EE student. Hi, Didi. First of all, I would like to thank you for making such wonderful. Uh, thank you so much, guys. It's because of you it's happening. You are sharing your experiences. Uh, sometime I'm sharing it, sometime you are sharing it, and I'm just searching about it. So keep on sharing your experiences from different background and from different company so that I can help somebody else. Questions goes like this. Brief about yourself. Why it is after studying EIE? Why IT after studying EIE? Uh, which coding language do you know? Why Java? As I mentioned Java in my previous question. Then he asked me, why did I take PCMB group in class 12 and why not PCM with computer? Short term and long term goal asked me which subject of academic uh, curriculum I am strong. Asked me about my department of college. Asked me whether I have done any mini project or not. I mentioned that we have not started as of now because our curriculum is designed in a different pattern. Describe me about man management as I have mentioned man management in my CV. So how does it different from the leadership? Then he asked me, who is your leadership idol and why? Then he asked me, I'm happy and done with the conversation. Any question I asked that if I get introduced into Cognizant, then what technology, technical skill do I need to learn? Throughout the interview, he told, great, great. After hearing my answer, I have not fumbled a single time throughout the interview. What's uh, your take on the uh, on this TD and will I be selected? See, I'm not the right person to answer this, like you will be selected or not. If interview was happy, then definitely you'll go, you're going to get a positive response. And there is no doubt. Guys, don't self-doubt. If you have performed well in the interview, then just be confident and keep on preparing for other companies. Don't stick to only one. Now let's move on to the next. Yesterday, I have taken Gen Z interview started with the introduce yourself project based question programming in C language only swapping two number use without using the third variable and some basic Python and C question then he asked any queries then he promoted to Gen Z elevate interview unfortunately oh I didn't take Gen Z elevate interview because of te some technical issue okay Dear ma'am, I am Babyan from ECE. Started with, tell me about yourself. What is your signature recipe? Okay, I told cooking is my hobby in that uh, he asked me five questions. So be prepared. Uh -huh, he added uh, like his hobby. Might be he has added in the introduction or in his resume. That's what. A string reverse per program. Then OOPS concept, overloading, overriding, 8086 architecture and what is flip-flop? What are the technologies you know? Stack pointer, aptitude questions from time and work, speed and distance, very easy level. About project advantages, uh, technology used and coding. Asked him, give me some advice for my upcoming career. He told in general which software company you entered, you must be strong logically to achieve higher position. That's true. And that's it's a very generic answer. Anyways, tips from my mistakes. Do not imagine interview is very uh, tough. Okay. Okay. Interview is very tough. Do not study anything in last one hour. Calm and your upcoming interview is uh, very easy okay that's a uh, tips from his site 
thank you so much guys thank you so much for sharing your experiences definitely is going to help a lot of student and guys if you have attended any interview then i will highly recommend you to please share it on my email or yeah so that from different companies um, mention your uh, branch name your um, you know company name for which you have interviewed and please let me know your experiences so uh, so that i can help further i can help your junior maybe your junior or maybe your um you know your 2020 batch mates right so keep on sharing thank you guys thank you so much for watching this and if you haven't subscribed to my channel i will highly recommend you to please press the subscribe button thank you so much